Hi. What's up? How is everybody doing today? I am doing spectacular. I'm at the end of my weekend. Which is fun. Had a good weekend. I, uh... One of my days off, I had a little adventure, went shopping, ended up going to 7-Eleven, which is like a block away from my house, to see if they had that uh, Steve Austin pop. The lady at the counter, she's like, no, we, we don't have that pop, but there's a bunch of Star Wars pops behind the counter over here. So I went and looked, and oh my gosh. Yes, they had some Star Wars Pops. The first thing that caught my eye was the Cara Dune Pop. Which, two months ago, if you look at the PBG, it's like negative. I've never seen that before. It's like down, red. That was a $1 pop. But as I'm sure a lot of you know, the actress who played Cara Dune was fired by Disney. I'm actually not... I don't know why. It had to do something with her viewpoints and statements that she has made. I don't know what they were, but apparently Disney found them too controversial for Disney so they fired her she will not be returning as of now for the next season of the Mandalorian which is I mean maybe it's justified I don't know she's thick I mean she is buff but anyway they had and I, I knew that those pops were valuable because of the cancel culture Cancel culture is great for the value of Funko Pops. Pepe Le Pew, Speedy Gonzalez, Cara Dune. So I bought, they had three of them. I bought two of them. And then, but they also had some Mandalorian Pops. And I scanned them. And the Mandalorian Pops were also extremely valuable. I got the Mandalorian with the child with his little jetpack thing going on and then just the plain Mandalorian with the rifle to the side which there's five variants of that there's a chrome one a blue chrome I mean there's a blue chrome one then then it gets a little confusing there's a pop culture one that's all metallic and then there's two chrome helmet ones apparently one of them is an Amazon exclusive. The other one, I don't know where it's from. The PPG value on those things is very confusing because people get them mixed up when they're selling on eBay. And eBay is one of the links that Pop Price Guide uses to determine the value of their pops. So if somebody sells one labeled as the Chrome Helmet and it's the Amazon one, which Apparently, a couple months ago, it was only worth like $15. It's now all mixed up, and the current PPG on that is like 30 something. I have a couple of those, which is awesome. But the non completely non chrome one, for whatever reason, has a PPG of either 41 or 46. The child is either 41 or 46. I don't remember. Anyway, so I grabbed a couple of those too. Those are available for sale. Um, if you do want one of those, I'm not sure. I think they're available for cheap, but I don't know. I put them up on eBay, whatnot. I don't expect to sell them because whatnot is, for the most part, a U.S. market. But eBay does have their international selling, so I have a higher chance of selling those pops around PPG on eBay I don't, I'm just I'm just rambling that's what I do but anyway back to the Cara Dune so 
I put the Cara Dunes up on whatnot and eBay simultaneously. Well, actually not. I mean, obviously you couldn't do it simultaneously, but within minutes of each other. Whatnot for a lot of their pops, they confirm the pop before they publish it on the site. I'm guessing that there's an employee that looks at the pictures and then confirms it. Before it could even get confirmed on whatnot, <laughs> the two that I put up on eBay sold. That was the fastest sale I've ever had on eBay. It literally sold less than 15 minutes after I put them up. I sold those pops for $57 each. And I probably could have asked more, apparently. But that was like above PPG. I just put that price just to see if somebody would buy it at that ridiculous price. And they did. So, I mean, that pop's going to go up in value. So I walked back to the store later on that day and bought the third one. Put that up on eBay. That one had a little bit of damage on it. The window was a little bit scratched up, which I stated clearly in the description of that. Uh, didn't matter. That thing sold in about a half an hour. 57 bucks. So it was a pretty profitable trip to 7-Eleven. I did go to the other 7-Elevens here in Yakima the next day, and they didn't have any pops at all. Well, that's not true. One of them had two really dab damaged, dusty, dirty Matthias, Matthias, Matthias pops from Frozen movie. I didn't buy those. But yeah, man, I wish they would have had more of those Caradunes. I even th I think I had a Caradune pop at one point. I sold it a long time ago for like five bucks. Oops. Who knew though? But that was BAM! Gotcha, Eric. Subscribe if you're new. Please hit the thumbs up button thing. It's very important. I would like my views to match my likes. Or even the thumbs down. Both of them count as interactions. The thumbs down hurt my heart a little bit. Not, not a lot, just a little bit. But that's to be expected. I'm not for everyone. I'm an old, angry man. I'm not that angry. Um, ring the bell. Hit the bell thing. I think that counts as an interaction, too. I'm not sure. Leave a comment. I like reading you guys' comments. Sometimes it takes me a little while to respond, but I do respond to everybody's comments. If you're watching this and you're like, dude, you haven't responded to my last comment, I will. I promise. Eventually. I love this song. Uh, if you can hear the song, then that means that this video is probably going to get flagged. So one day in 17 years when we hit a thousand subs this video will not be able to be monetized that's how it works we I don't think are ever gonna to get to 500 subs I think the only way we're gonna to get to 500 subs is if I buy a four thousand dollar Pop King Paul mystery box speaking of Pop King Paul I did recently buy a mystery box from him I got one of his $40 boxes. Pretty excited about that. According to the UPS My Choice site, my box weighs 1.2 pounds. There's supposed to be three pops in it. So if that's actually what it weighs, there's no hard stack in it. Which sucks. But we'll see. We'll see how we do on that one. I got the Gem Pops mystery box coming. Um, go buy one of those they won't ship until they sell out 
So go buy one so we can ship them. I want to see what I get. I did order some stuff off of eBay. I will share those with you when they arrive. They're not all Funkos, but I'm still excited about everything that I got. I got three things coming from eBay. Ooh, I pre-ordered a couple WandaVision Pops from Entertainment Earth. I do all my pre-ordering, for the most part, through Entertainment Earth because they don't charge you until they receive the pops and ship them out. The only tough part is, is you have to, I have to remember when those are coming out and make sure that I have money in my account. Because I do spend all my money. That's what I do. I work so that I can buy stuff. I do need to start saving money. I've been pretty bad about saving money, you know. I'm not a young kid anymore. There is going to come a time, hopefully not in the near future, where I might not be able to work. Now, these are investments, but they're not getting interest. I mean, some of the, I mean, in a way they are. Anyway, it's not super disposal income. It would take a while to sell all these pops, and if I did sell the entire collection, I would not get the full value obviously that's how it works but I digress what were we talking about I don't know it's one of those days now these boxes right here I actually got yesterday but they didn't come until late in the day and I just wasn't in the mood to open them my car looks so much cooler now that I have the uh Batman license plate frame on it that Eric sent me. Thanks, Eric. But I know what you guys are all here for. You're not here for me. Oh. My light just went out. Bummer. Oh, well. The show must go on. I thought I had it charged up. Oh. We'll just go ahead and charge it up right now while we're fin finished filming this. The light really does make a big difference. This is how it used to be. Which is fine. Okay. We got two boxes here. These are both purchases. They are not mystery boxes. We're going to save this one for last. Um, this is a Funko item. But it's not a pop. You guys know that I love Batman stuff. I've seen these. Didn't really pull the trigger. But I decided... Okay. The seller of this on Amazon was like a tack shop, <laughs> like horse stuff. I contacted them, said, hey, you know, can you tell me how the box condition is, blah, blah, blah. They never responded. It was really cheap. Like the PPG on this thing is pretty high. The price I paid for this was very low. I figured if it was damaged, whatever. Um, I just wanted I wanted to see one of these things in person. They ship this in a box with no protection whatsoever, no bubble wrap, no paper. Um, this is one of the Hikari things. Now I didn't realize how tall these were, but. This is freaking awesome. Now I need to buy the rest of them. 3,000 piece glitter Batman. Very, very cool. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so... It says handmade and crafted. Okay, maybe. Um, as far as the condition, this is from 2014. So, the bottom of the box, it's like kind of full, rounded. Like, I don't know. Funko. 2014. There's a little bit of a ding right there. Um, very happy, actually, with the condition of this box. Like, I was very nervous. Because I paid like $20 for this. That is amazing. This is awesome. There's like four or five other Batmans. And I know we'll be getting them. They're all below $100. But these, this is, this is awesome. Look at that. The glare is horrible. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the sweet spot. That's good. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so that is... That is cool. Really, really bad shipping. I don't think they sell Funko things very often. I think they sell bridles and saddles and cowboy boots. Uh, why did it? Why they have this? Who knows? But yeah, I paid like twenty dollars for this. I will be getting all of them. Why not? They're not super expensive, and they're amazing. If you're a Batman fan, I highly recommend these. These are very, very cool. Very cool. Wow. I'm impressed. I didn't know if I'd like it or not. And the answer is yes. I like these a lot. Don't know where I'm going to put them. I think I need to actually, I'm going to get a shelf. I'm going to mount a floating shelf up there and there boom lined up because these obviously aren't gonna fit very well there man that is cool for now we'll precariously stack it on top of the Joker there was an incident where I realized that the window on that two-pack is all warped and I freaked out Apparently, that's a common thing for the older two packs. The plastic warps. So I thought, man, the damage, or the, because of this, the value of this thing is gone. Nope. Doesn't affect the value. I mean, obviously, if it was like destroyed, it would, but that's just what they do. Okay, so. We're going into a long video, which is what we do. I hope you guys enjoyed the Hikari Batman. I sure did. That was freaking amazing. This next box, I'm scared. This is a pop that came out recently. Um, it was only available in China. Well, it was released in China. Uh, an individual on Instagram was claiming to sell them. He was approaching people, DM, DMing people, putting up comments on people's threads. I ordered one from him, and then within days, people were posting... Vi images of the chats that they had with this individual who turned out to just be a complete piece of shit just a scammer piece of shit like it's probably some 14 year old kid 
I mean, you could tell by the way he talks to people that he's an idiot. Anyway, talking about Jason Chow TV. Right there. Go on Instagram. Do a search for Jason Chow TV. One word, all lowercase. Report him for being a scammer. Leave him a comment before you block him. And just say, God here pops says, fuck you. I would really, really appreciate if you did that. Sorry for the language, but the guy's a piece of shit. So anyway, I bought that through PayPal Goods and Services. Um, as of this video, I'm in within the next 24 hours. He hasn't, they, I filed a claim that I talked to a customer service representative at PayPal and let him know what was going on and... He didn't even make me go through the file a complaint process. He's like, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and put this right into a claim. Normally you have to do a report and then thirty days the person has thirty days to respond. But yeah, I explained it to him and they're like, Yeah. <laughs> we're taking this right to a claim. That was like nine days ago. The dude has ten days to respond with I don't know what. But, so, I'm getting my money back, which is cool. Don't ever buy anything through somebody on Instagram, friends and family, unless you know who they are, or if you talk to other people and they verify that that's a trusted seller. If some dude in China offers you a pop that you really want, insist on goods and services. You need to protect yourself. While that was all going on, uh, Tough Collectibles put up a post that they had those pops for sale for pre-order. I contacted them like, dude, I wish I would have seen this before I bought one from this scammer dude and now I'm freaking out and he also said, yeah, I've heard stories about that guy. So, anyway. The whole cancel thing went through. I talked to him. I'm like, I want to pre-order one of those. But I'm not going to have my money until Wednesday. Can you hold them for me? He's like, yeah, no problem. I don't know if he held one for me or not. They were just still available on the, on the website. So I bought it. I was anticipating it arriving in like a month apparently he had them in hand I didn't know that so this got here like in less than a week which is cool now earlier I said I'm scared this is why I'm scared I'm telling you guys please please use Uline boxes it would just save you so much. Like, you wouldn't have to deal with this. I wouldn't have to be scared of how this box is going to be. This would not happen to a Uline box. So, fortunately, it is a bigger box. And it feels like there's space and there's bubble wrap. So, I'm really hoping... Because I also heard that the cardboard that they use on these pops is bad it's like really thin but there is definitely a chance that my pop inside of here is going to have suffered damage because this box got sandwiched between two heavy boxes and it's a 32 pound edge crush test cheap box I only ship in Uline boxes. If you ever buy anything from me, it will go towards buying a new camera so that this doesn't happen. I actually have a camera in my cart on Amazon. I might actually buy that with the stimulus check too. It's not like a $2,000 camera or anything like some people have, but I think it'll be a definite improvement to what we got now. But let's get in here I can't wait to see this 33 minutes 
of talking before we get into the box. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, we did open that Icari thing, which is fucking amazing. Tough collectibles. Now, one of the reasons why I bought from them without worrying was because I had just recently seen a video from Dead Zone where he opened up. Where's the. Oh. So this is the smooth side, and it's got a lot of bubble wrap. Thank goodness. What do we got? Uh, but I saw Dead Zone open up one of those, I can't remember what, what it was. It's not a chomp. It was like the bull one. But it was exclusive to... Tough collectibles. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I don't know what this is. I can't even tell. This was packaged extremely well, and it's in a stack. And they taped the bubble wrap. In this case, I'm okay with that, but you guys know me, I hate, I hate tape, it's just, it ruins, wow, sorry, I get to see it first, this is weird. Maybe it comes in this stack? This is a horrible stack. Boom! The metallic Imperial Batman limited edition. Oh, so this is a uh, Oh, I see. It was... So this is like some type of Chinese hard stack. Which is interesting. That might actually have odd value just because... Very interesting hard stack. So the bottom is sealed, which is nice. Um, I am going to start getting into vaulted vinyl. Hello, Luke. I am your father. So, so the lid has like a, it's like a dish. So apparently, yeah, no. Oh, there you go. That's kind of a cool idea. So if you stack these up on top of each other, the next one sits down, kind of locks in. Nothing beats the pop armor. Those are just... Uh, okay. Let's talk about the pop. It is very thin cardboard. It's unfortunate that it already has a little bit of scuffing on here. Which is just what happens when they're not folded correctly. Look at all that craziness. Collectionado. Collection. What? Collectionados. Todos. Collection Letus. I took French. It's apparently not, it's the gold basically that's kind of metallic. So looking at the picture on PPG, you can definitely see a difference. The gold pops a lot more, which is, that's okay. 
PPG is $80 right now. Permanent part of my collection until something weird happens. Interesting concept for the uh, paw protector. I mean, we got a hard stack from China. We got a pop from China. Sweet. I anticipate this pop being a grail in the next year. It's just they apparently only made 3,000 of them. And the amount that's going to be in the U.S. is going to be pretty low. And I'm guessing like 25% of those 3,000 pops are going to be ridiculously damaged. So, long, long video. And it had been a while since I made a video. I needed to talk. Vaulted Vinyl. I hope they make an affiliate program because I would love to promote Vaulted Vinyl to y'all. Like I said, hard stacks, the pinnacle hard stacks are the pop armors. They're just great. great. But their soft protectors are the best in the market, I think. I mean, I, I like the pop shield ones, but a lot of people make the point of the pop shield ones are curved on the top. So stacking can be a little precarious. Vaulted vinyls, completely flat. They're also 0.5 millimeter. I'll show you one. They feel about the same. Yeah, I guess it's a little thicker. So here's your pop shield. They got the tab. A lot of people hate the tab. When you fold them, the lid kind of bows up. That's an exaggeration, but vaulted vinyl, a little thicker. I like how they have that weird little ridge on the corner. It doesn't really do anything, it just it feels cool. But no tab. Boom. Completely flat. Protect your passion. I never noticed that. That's kind of cool. So yeah. Check them out. Good company. Seven bucks pop apparently removed their affiliate program for non-big YouTube channels like Clint and some other people still have an affiliate link that works. But for us, uh, small people we don't get to have an affiliate program anymore with seven bucks pop for their pop protectors so i don't care who you buy from anymore before i was like you know please click my link buy it from me buy your heart buy from vaulted vinyl get them going i want to be an affiliate for them send them a message say hey can you give god your pops an affiliate program all right Thanks for hanging out. Good stuff. It's going to take me a while to edit this. It's going to, it, it took me a long time to edit this, guys. So, peace. See you guys later.